Winter is here. <laughs> winter for like intro level people like us. <laughs> this is not winter. <laughs> it is not. Right before we left the site, I noticed that each of the tires were about 10 PSI low, and so I have a fancy schmancy new little tool I'd like to share with you. So let's finish getting Ginger empty, and then let's jump in the car and let me share with you this fancy schmancy tool thing, all right? Okay, so as I was saying, the PSI in the tires was about 10 PSI low in each tire and I needed to get those filled up and I have been absolutely sick and tired of having to find air mm -hmm. when we were on season one and we didn't know anything about anything I would go to the pumps and I would go put in you know 75 cents which was a pain in and of itself right I put in the 75 cents and I would fill it and I would not know why it wouldn't go past 65 psi mm -hmm. and of course then I find out that it's because the pumps and the gas stations only go up to 65 they're regulated at 65 okay so then I realized all right I'll go to discount tire or I'll go to a truck stop but it's it's a pain it's hard it's you're constantly looking around and then you finally find something that goes up to 80 psi and the machine might be broken so then you end up having to go to tire stores well and you haven't even talked about the traffic trying yeah, to get your rig exactly, somewhere exactly and we did not start RVing and we did not start this adventure so that I could like like I mean freedom was the deal right <laughs> Like freedom and independence. That was, yes. That was the thinking. A number of subscribers have uh, have seen this agony <laughs> and said, hey, uh, their Vier makes this awesome pump. You should check it out. So I did. Mm -hmm. And I reached out to Vier and I said, hey, your pump looks awesome. And if it's as good as it looks, I'd like to mention it on the channel and whatnot. They said, we'd be happy to send you one. So they sent us over a pump. And today I have used it for the first time. It was brilliant. What's the air pressure at? It's at 120. Ready? Watch. It's at 120 already? Yeah. Dude, that is crazy. Yeah. Can you see it? Ready? Yep. That's nuts. 66. Plug it into the battery. It stretches. Now look, we're now with this truck. We are now 53 feet long. It it stretches all the way from the battery to the back tire with maybe 10 or 20 feet to spare. Uh, so I plug it into the battery, mm -hmm. I stretch it to the back, I put in these adapters where I can literally see the gauge and everything. Anyway, I don't want to go into too much details because I want to do a proper review, but it's awesome. So we're all aired up. We have all the proper stuff for winter. All is kind of a stretch. I think every season we do something that makes us a little bit like are you sure we should do that? <laughs> and I think if we don't have the nervous energy around like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? I don't, I think that's a piece, it's the piece of the story, it's a piece of the adventure, right? Yes, don't be afraid to go out there and take your first trip or the trip mm -hmm. that you've been wanting to take because you're like, do I have everything? Because if you wait till you're ready, you will never go. Very steep hill. It's where all the trucks are usually on the right side of the road. They're and flashers. really, the yeah, the flashers. And the first test. Now, the F-150 that we had, as you know, has the 6.2 liter Raptor engine because it had the platinum trim, and so they put the 6.2 liter engine as an option in the platinum trim, and it did fine pulling ginger. We went up that hill at 60 with the F-150. We took it easy though. We did like push it. Yeah, it probably we went up at 60. And the RPMs were probably like 3,500. It was so it was like you know it was working for it, but it was fine, right? Mm -hmm. I had no, I had certainly had no complaints. This truck, on the other hand, it's just like eating the road. It's it like, is like I'm, I'm slowing down as I'm passing people, just for giggles. I went up at 70 uh, just to see how many RPMs it was at. You could hardly hear the engine. The difference is that I've noticed so far between when we pulled Ginger with the half ton truck and this truck is mainly the suspension. The towing, yes, for sure. But the big difference is the suspension. In this truck, we don't feel ginger pushing the truck around. Yeah, like when you pulling when you pushing. Yeah. When you go over bumps and things, it doesn't move the truck. Mm -hmm. The truck stays stable. And I think you can even see in this video, 
we're not moving around. It yeah. feels like how we would normally be driving. Yeah. And that's less fatiguing to drive because you're not reminded all the time that the trailer's back there because it's not pushing the trailer around. When there's gusts of wind, it you can feel you can see the trailer move, but the truck doesn't move. for dinosaur tracks big news big news breaking news world famous dinosaur tracks Are we seriously Must, pulling over for yes we're pulling over for dinosaur tracks they're not gonna be here forever <laughs> free tour it's a five minute walk do I have money for the free tour? Yes, of course I have money for the free tour. Okay. Yeah, we are. Yeah, let me get the camera though. Oh, you gotta get the camera. nice. Do we have to walk? Nice. Oh. I got a 50 and a 100. Caleb, what do you have in your wallet? Who took all the money out of my wallet? I got a dollar. Promise. Come on, who's got money? Wait, I've got quarters. Excuse me. I'm coming out. We have no money. I have a dollar. Okay, well, I have we $151. <laughs> can we go? No, can we, can no. We, no. Mom, stop. No, I want to see the dinosaur tracks. Mom, I'm going to give him a check? No, I'm not giving him a check. <laughs> hey, do you have a square? Do you have a square? Do you have like, can I, can I run it? You have like an iPhone or anything? You can I swipe it? You have to. No, we only have a dollar. We didn't want to tip you only a dollar, so we'll give you the tip and be on our way. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. It would have been they're great if there was cool. no one in there. I, I would have liked to have yeah, explore the dinosaur. They're tracks. really cool. They look like this. They look like. Wait. They look like. Like this. They look like this. Which is exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Timely, as a matter of fact. We are staying at Goldings. Full service, lodge, nice. suites, tours, gift shop, shop, meals, RV park, propane, we store, ATM, deli, gas, laundry, oh, car wash. Laundry. What more do you need? Can we go? How about some water? How about, about, about Wi-Fi? Was Wi-Fi on the list? Wi In the middle of making a course on how to start a vlog. How to start a YouTube channel. Okay, do you know where we're going? Pretty excited about it, as a matter of fact, and I'm right here talking about uh, gimbals, basically stabilization and gimbals. Section four, lesson five: How to stabilize footage and gimbals. This might. I'm sorry, but this yes. might be the coolest thing ever. Are we staying in the crack? We are of staying these two? in the crack. We're Goldings, and I mean it's. Ideal location, okay? It's amazing. Oh, I didn't tell her about my good Sam. We'll see if that helps. So everything was do going great, all right? Uh oh you got to tell me something like it's massive. So she says, I said, well, how much is it? She says, she says it's $39. I'm like, full hookups. I'm like, yeah. And $8 for every additional person over two. Two okay, people so plus. So three times eight is 24 a night. Wow. So the kids cost 24 a night on top of 39. Wow. So I said we're empty nesters. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. We have been uh, bundled up in the trailer, mm -hmm. and it's like a upper 30s, and we've just been working away and getting a lot of stuff done, as we normally do, because today is Friday. Yes. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday are very busy days for us with, like, editing videos and doing all that sorts of stuff. So yeah. we're getting a late start today, and we're headed over to, like, a, what's I think called the Valley Drive. And it's a 17-mile drive. We need to get kind of a, a feel for the environment. Like what's going on here yes. so that tomorrow we can have another plan and then the next day have a plan. So yes. that's kind of the idea. Okay, so from what I'm quickly gathering, people come here for about 24 hours. They come in, they get their quintessential shot. Oh, that's because it's winter. And they leave. Yes, but I have a feeling that people do that. And from what I've been reading, mm -hmm. there are magnificent hikes, mm. there's horseback riding, there's Jeep tours. Yeah. Yeah. And then of course, the 17 mile drive, which we yeah. are about to show you. And I'm very excited.
she said But our love won't survive on the words of others So I wanna hear you with your own lips Say come on, come in here to me, mom, come in here to me, mom, come in say this drive has been worth it. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Put, what? put this on your list. 17 mile drive. Navajo Tribal Park. Absolutely fantastic. Now what did it say? You, you, it reminded you of the Everglades. Yes. The Everglades because of the expansiveness. Mm -hmm. And you feel like you're all alone. There's really only a few cars that are here and there. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of pull off, give it a few minutes, and all of a sudden you're alone again. And that's mm -hmm. what it felt like being on those airboats. Just oh, that yeah. expanse. Well, what, what, when Trish said it, what kind of resonated with me is when we did the airboat tour with Down South Airboats, you're, you're, you're kind of like overtaken with how beautiful the Everglades are, but when you go on a private tour with these guys, it just keeps going and going you and going. You cannot believe how big it is. It's so huge. And it's also Indian land, which yes. is interesting, right? Yes. Anyway, that is one of my favorite videos. And if you haven't seen the Everglades video, you got to check it out because, I, I mean, the music, everything is one of my favorites. But this is very quickly becoming one of our favorites. Yes, it is absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's so like perfect, right? When you yeah. say you're going to the Southwest, mm -hmm. this, this is, is what you think this of. This is what you think of. Now, there's a lot of you that are in Australia that follow the channel and yes. they say it's Australia, mate. Anyway, <laughs> but a lot of Aussies and so I'd be interested in your take. What do you think? I mean, you can see kind of what we're looking at. Is this what we maybe could get a little glimpse of when we travel to Australia? Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of time before we RV, RV in Australia, right? Oh my goodness. Just yes. a matter of time. Woo! Ooh, chili. What do you think? What do you think, Caleb? Um, I think, uh, you know, stay toasty, my friends. Stay toasty, my friends, because it is chili. Chili. All right, welcome back to Mark and Tori's Tips and Tricks Take Monument Valley. And it's been a while since we've done a Mark and Tori's Tips and Tricks, yeah? It has so been. It's good. it's good to be back. It's good to be back. So why don't I kick things off with the fact that we're on the Wildcat Trail. It's about two to four miles. It's very gradual. And... Uh, very much worth doing. Tip one, Tori, tip two. Tip number two is that even though it's very nice and gradual, there's a lot of sand mm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to be hiking this, you might want to bring hiking sneaker, hiking boots, instead of just sneakers because sand is going to end up in your feet. Tip number three is the 17 mile loop drive that we did yesterday. Uh, absolutely beautiful drive. Okay, now in terms of the vehicle, we did see cars on the 17 mile loop drive. If you have an SUV, you'd be fine. You certainly don't need 4x4, but it is an off-road. I suppose a car wouldn't be bad, just drive with caution. All right, Tori, tip four. All right, speaking of times to get here. Yes. If you are going to be walking this trail, mm -hmm. you should probably come around noon to one, and then you'll have plenty of time to take your pictures and walk around, and it's very, very pretty. Everything is blue and the rocks are red. And then at sunset, mm -hmm. probably when you leave, everything will be lit up orange. Sweet. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. Okay, what was going Oh. Okay, tip number five. Let's talk about cell coverage in Monument Valley. Surprisingly, not bad. Now, we're on the Verizon plan, Verizon Unlimited Data, and everything out here is 3G. But I'll tell you what, because there's so few people out here... Works pretty well. Actually works all right. So, there is great cell phone service, and fair data. Upload speed's about one megabyte per second, but you know, I'm going to deal with that tonight unless we find a place to upload the video. So there you have it. Mark and Tori's tips. And tricks. Monument Valley tips and tricks. Monument Valley. Now it's time to give my rotator cuff a break and hopefully this footage on the iPhone 10 was not too unstable for you. Base camp, Monument Valley. <laughs> Look at those buttes. <laughs> There's a view right there. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about some geology, Trisha. Okay, well, um, 
I have more questions than answers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay. what I mean. I mean, I mean, if there's a geologist out there, we have some questions. That's I would I like to know, at the top of all these mesas, there's the plateau, mm -hmm. the mesa, okay? Yes. And at the edge of every single one, if you start looking at every single one of these, okay. the edge of it has its own little mini finger. Just think okay. of it of like this. Well, so is the wind coming through there and deteriorating yeah. it? So you're saying, how did it end up like this? Yes. How did it get that? I'm going to research that. You don't have to research it. We just asked the question, <laughs> and there's a lot of smart people in the KWD community, and we're going to get you. our answer. We're okay, going to get good. our answer. Well, hey, trivia. Yes. What is the difference between a mesa and a butte? <laughs> a butte. Now, ever since Trisha stumbled across the word, hey, check out that butte, she's been like, hey, you want to get a picture of that butte? <laughs> How about that butte? How about there? that butte over there? Huh? See, they're already adopting my butte. Well, a mesa, uh, Spanish for table. Yes. Is like like this, and I'm guessing a butte is at the end. Oh, very, very close. Well, but you're, you're wrong. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> see, Mark, you are right about the mesa and the table, so think and large. And my Spanish? And my Spanish. And your Spanish, so think large. Gracias. Yes, a mesa is that big, long mountain. So like a butte. A yes, there's a mesa. A there's a mesa. But that little guy, that's a butte because it's the second it's alone. stage of erosion. Yes, because so all those buttes. So that used to be a mesa. That all used to be a mesa. So mesas turn into buttes. Yes. Did you figure out the finger? Well, Wait. those. Did you figure out the I finger? don't understand why on the mesa the butte starts hanging out. Like why that happens on every single mountain. I mean, obviously it's erosion. I do know that the three sisters. Yes. And how they were just like this. Those are called spires. Okay. And those, that is like even more erosion. And they're only standing on like a pebble base. So eventually those will just get knocked over. Well, I'm glad we got to see them in the nick of time. We are here <laughs> in the most beautiful, wonderful part of the timeline. Because we got to see all of this erosion around us. Well, it's a pretty long timeline. Yeah. Dinosaurs got to see a bunch of We really mesas. capitalized on this window, <laughs> folks. <laughs> you know, when they say you're born in the right era, that's us. I think there is something to see in every era, but yes. Yes, we are yes. lucky in ours. So anyway, so now you know the difference between a mesa, a butte, and a spire. We're out of here. We now are headed to Moab, which will be next weekend's episode. All right, so. We're all good. More to come in just a, a minute. Let's get on the road. Did you do a walk around? All I the did do a walk are... around. Closed? Okay. They are. Good job. Thank you. Oh, right. Stop trying to worry about it. Time goes by, tells things that you don't know. Why are you trying to worry about it now? Stop trying to worry about it. Troubles, they will come and they will go. Why are you trying to worry about it now? Another year, another fear to feed and Feel the phrase in your mortality And the gravity is awful And we feel it anyway Stop trying to 